Hey folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I wanted to make a video about D&D Beyond and Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. I've gotten a ton of questions about this. I'm no authority on D&D Beyond, but a lot of people have been asking questions, so let's go ahead and take a look. So, one, I will put a link to this in the description, but there is the bugs and uh, kind of support thread for Tasha's Cauldron of Everything where they're showcasing issues and explaining some things. So what I've done is I've got my character here, Temerity, who I play in our evil campaign once a month, and I wanted to show you what you can do. If you go to the home section, you can see right here under your regular sources is now optional class features and customize your origin. So if I choose customize my origin and optional class features and then go to my race, you'll see now next to my race is an origin manager, and here I can change whatever's tied to my origin. I'll show you a couple other examples later, but if I want to change my ability scores, I could check this, and then when I go back to the base race, it gives me the options. Now, if I go to my class, you'll also see optional feature manager here. Do you want to add the extra spell lists? Yes. Magical inspiration? Yes. Bardic versatility? Check. Yes. Now, if I go back to my character class, you'll see under spells, if I go to manage them and look at my add spells, you'll see little plus sign here that says additional oops there you go additional bard spells here color spray and command and it gives you a little plus sign to let you know that they are extra under my features and traits if i scroll down you'll see bardic versatility is listed right here for some reason magical inspiration is not listed currently but that is probably a bug i don't know if it's known anything i address in this video that i find i'll be reporting on that bug thread as well for those of you wondering the custom lineage, custom lineage will not be added. That is for you to decide in your own homebrew per this text right here. Uh, it can be supported using the existing homebrew race creation tools, which allow you to create any race you like. And you can see there's some issues that they're having. So I, go I went ahead and I made this dwarf character. And if we go ahead and look, I chose origin manager and he's a mountain dwarf or she's a mountain dwarf. And you can see here's where you change your ability scores. We'll click that. Now look, it gives me an option for Dwarven combat training, uh, my Dwarven proficiency, and my languages. So now if I go back to the base race, it says, what ability score increases would you like? So I'm going to say Dexterity, and then it's going to give me the plus two constitution from the base. Uh, it's not letting me choose to change the constitution, though. It's keeping that hard-coded. So that may be an issue, but you can see here is for those of you who are wondering if it was trade all of your proficiencies for one tool. No, here is trading out all of the Dwarven combat training tools or weapons for other weapons or proficiencies. Here's the origin one as well for the kind of brewers tools, smiths tools, masons tools. So you could right here, this is five extra options right here that you could get. Okay. So the only problem is it is not allowing me to trade out the Dwarven Racial Light and Medium Armor Proficiency that's granted from uh, being a Mountain Dwarf. That is currently not listed as an option. I assume that's just a bug and it hasn't been attained yet. Mind you, this is pretty much, this is breaking the entire sort of foundation of D&D Beyond. I know they've had time to work on it, but this is a fundamental shift in the way almost everything is happening. And I imagine all of these options, and we'll go ahead, we made a fighter, and if we went to our fighting style options, we'll see there's only the standard ones here. Now, I went to this and I checked to add these extra ones. When you choose a fighting style, the following options are added to your list. They were not, as you just saw. And we're also going to add martial versatility by checking that. So if I go ahead and how about I remove my class entirely and we'll choose fighter again. We're going to go to this and check a fighting style and martial versatility. And we're going to go ahead here and we're going to choose a fighting style. It says there's more options here. If I choose my fighting style, it's not actually giving me those options. So that may also be a bug that we're seeing. So I'll just go ahead and choose defense for now. And then there's my standard proficiencies. Now we're going to go up to level three and we're going to choose battle master as an option here and see how it's giving us our superiority die and our maneuvers. Is it going to give us all the new maneuvers? Okay, look, ambush, bait and switch, they're all listed here. So we have those options, quick toss, tactical assessment. Those are all options that we have, so that's cool. Now, if I go to option feature, optional feature manager, it does not change anything. Okay, so that's that. 
We can't get the extra fighting styles. Oh, wait, now they're there for some reason. Uh, all right, so we're going to go with thrown weapon fighting. Now, we'll go here. We'll just choose point by. We'll give ourselves all eight stats because we don't care. And we want to go and take a look at our character. Now, underneath our features and traits, it should have martial versatility listed, I think, somewhere in here. It does not seem to have that, so that looks like that may still be... Ah, we haven't had it yet because we're only level 3. So let's go ahead and see something. We chose our fighting style as... What do we choose? Throne weapon fighting? Now, let's go ahead and go up to level 4. Ability score improvement. It gives us this option. We choose our feet or ability score, but... It also pops a little thing here that says martial versatility. Whenever you reach a level in this class, replace a fighting style with a different one. So it doesn't actually give you the option to choose to then do it. It is just saying you have it and you can go ahead and make the edits here. So it looks like, again, that not everything is fully rolled out. For example, I tried this before I did the video on an elf and they just seemingly removed the weapon proficiencies completely from the elf uh, sub races. They're just not listed there. Uh, but you can see right here, they have this, I'll put a link again to this thread that shows you sort of how you can go about altering and changing things, and here's some known issues. If you discover any other known issues in your travels, be sure to go ahead and add them to this D&D Beyond thread in hopes to help make sure we can have this thing up and running, fully functional for everybody to use as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.